Hey guys, I just got the Dyson Air Wrap and I'm literally shook. I did like the worst job really, really quickly. Um, but I'm so impressed with how well this works. Um, so yeah, this is like the first time I've tried it or anything. But yeah, me and Tasha have literally been texting back and forth for like months now, like convincing each other, like one of us to buy the Air Wrap. And then she finally bought it the other day and she was like, you have to buy it. Um, so I ended up buying it because it was on sale for 20% off and I'm very impressed. I honestly didn't think it would like really work on my short hair, but I'm really happy with how it looks to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I'm thinking about growing my hair out a little bit longer for like the summer and getting some layers and stuff put through it. So that's the reason I wanted to buy it as well um, while it was on sale so that I could use it on my longer hair. But I'm really happy about like how it looks and everything. I feel like it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I've honestly had so many deliveries today. So I've actually already unboxed everything, but I thought I'd show you guys what I got anyway because I was just too eager, you know, and then unboxed everything. Um, but first of all, I actually bought some stuff from, where did I put it? Oh, it's here. Um, so first up, I got some active wear. I actually ordered some stuff from Set Active. Um, usually whenever I've gone to order of them before, all of their stuff, has been sold out but they weren't this time so i ended up ordering some of their tights this is actually like a chocolate brown um but it looks like black and it is like a lot darker in person than it looked like online but it's still really nice it's like a really deep brown and i didn't realize it was like um seamless as well it feels like it's really good quality though and then I also got the little, um, like the top that has like the one shoulder sort of strap. I thought that was really cute. And then I also just got like a really plain little basic crop top because I feel like you can never go wrong with plain crop tops. You can never have too many. And then I also got a package from Crop Shop Boutique. Um, this is from like their normal range that's coming out or being restocked really soon. So I got like a little cropped jumper. This is so cute. I love that that's in the black as well because I feel like it'll just go with everything. And then I got the Sierra crop top in the black as well. So this is a part of their normal range. So it's not a part of their chill out range. It's a part of their normal range. So it's perfectly fine for training in. I love this crop top. I think it is so cute. I was actually wearing my nude seamless version this morning. Um, sorry, not seamless, the ribbed version. I think they might be seamless too actually. And then I got the little biker shorts in the black. The biker shorts, like their biker shorts, fit so well. The quality is amazing. Um, and then I also got the full length tight with the little scrunch bum. And then I also actually ended up ordering some new shoes. I actually already have both of these pairs of shoes, um, but I've worn them to death. So I really wanted to get some new ones. Um, so yeah, these are just the Nike zoom pegasus turbo i actually ended up having to buy these on goat because they don't actually like sell them anymore at, like nike or anything but honestly these are my all-time favorite shoes to run in or do any form of functional training in um i feel like they are like they become a part of me when i'm like working out and they are honestly just the best like they just like cling to your feet so easy to run in and yeah these are literally like the only shoes i will run in and then i also got um these white ones again the adidas ones they're just like super comfy these ones are really good just like everyday wear whether you're going on like a walk um or doing even weight training in the gym because they're really nice and flat and then i also got some new heels I actually haven't opened this one yet um i got some new heels from house of cb so i got some i can't remember if i got them in the black or the brown i think i got them in the black oh no i got them in the brown so i got these like really cute little strappy heels house of cb's stuff especially their shoes are honestly like the best quality so i got those and then I'll show you like the um like the air wrap sort of like kit, but it's freaking massive. So it has like all the different attachments in there, um, which I'm really excited to have a play with. The back of this doesn't look good. I didn't really like do it, but I feel like the front is like a really cute vibe. So yeah, coffee essential at the moment um we have had some progress with the apartment but it's just like chaotic i kind of want to wait until it's like almost done and then show you guys 
So yeah, today we went for a really nice long walk and then came back and then we got stuck into Jake's office space. Um, my makeup room and everything's almost done, so I'll show you guys that soon. But yeah, we were just doing that and then we were trying to make the IKEA flat pack but then realized that Jake accidentally forgot um, a few of the parts and stuff. So we've got to go back to IKEA and organize that or maybe order it online actually um and then we also need to go to bunnings and stuff so there's just like a lot on and i don't want to like vlog absolutely everything because i feel like that'll be boring but i'll give you guys an update really soon we are tackling making the tv unit today pray for us i'm not keen for this one bit i literally hate making flat packs with every part of me i used to love it I officially hate it. I'm over it already. We haven't even started yet. Jake and I are just going to make some lunch. I wish I had decided to make this before we did the grocery shopping because we only have these capsicums. Um, this, by the way, is like this Mexican rice kit. It looks pretty yum. But yeah, I was going to make this now. Have some chicken with it. We'll probably add in like some, I don't know. We'll probably add in some kale and stuff as well. But yes, kale. Kale and spinach and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it. I've had it in the pantry for ages. We need to try it. How much of this do we want to make? Do you want me to use like half of each? Yeah. Do you want some garlic? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. This is our first time using the stove top. It tastes so good. Premium, isn't it? Meal. Meal. So relevant. <laughs> it is relevant. I don't want to get it dirty though. Um, we have our Do you have any, like, candle going. Oh yeah. Or? Oh, I think we use the spices from the um. Like I think we use these spices. It says. Heat a little oil in large frying pan, sizzle and brown chicken over high heat for five minutes, add onion, capsicum and corn, cook for two minutes and then add the seasoned rice, which would be this one. And then it says, um, stir in the cooking sauce, spice mix and water. Oh, I wasn't even filming, that's <laughs> so sad. Um, but we just put the seasoned rice in. And then we're adding in the sauce. Here, yeah, do you want to do this? No, I feel like that's fine. Yeah. We love sauce. You do love getting every little, <laughs> every last bit out. And then the seasoning. Yeah, that tastes good. Can you, um, no, this too. Does it simmer down? Yeah, it simmers down because the rice needs to cook. Also got one of the Chef Good um, meal boxes for this week because I knew it would be like kind of busy um throughout the week so <laughs> little did i know we'd be in lockdown <laughs> um which has just been extended as well okay so i got this isn't sponsored by the way i bought it myself tammy had a discount code for 20 percent off so i took full advantage of that my unboxing king oh ice packs <laughs> Okay, so we have the chicken and shiitake meatballs Yum. and red curry. Um, this one is slow cooked beef and vegetable ravioli. You want this one? Vegan cookie. Had to get myself some treaties. Um, gnocchi carbonara, zucchini, and parmesan. This one is egg and chive sandwich. Okay. Oh, I could go that right couple now. Of treats, huh? Just a couple. Chocolate a sandwich. and date egg brownie. And... Wait, you bought a sandwich? Yeah, I did. You got someone to literally. There was make one your more. Sandwich. There was one more that I needed. There was ten meals that I had to choose, and I'm gonna try them all. Vegan Singapore noodles. I've heard that one's really good. That looks lit. Croquet mushroom. Oh, it's like a toasty thing. Um, this one is Nona's lasagna. What else? Chicken muscle man curry. <laughs> Chicken muscle man curry with brown rice. Yum. I'm see? so excited to try these because if they're good, I might start getting like seven or so each week sort of thing that I can have throughout the week. Because you're barely home to be able to make yourself your own food, you reckon? Fuck you, asshole. Ow. Chicken and rice is done. It smells so good. 
Should we put some avo or something with this? Actually, yes. What are you thinking? Avo, because it'll be fresh enough. Yeah. How do normal people do do like the avocado? Not like that, that's for sure. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Would you like your avocado? Um, yeah, just plop her on top, I suppose. What are you doing? You are butchering that avo. This is how you do avos. Okay. This is how Jake does it because he doesn't like... Um... Minimizing dishes. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is actually so good. I'll definitely be making it again and would 10 out of 10 recommend. Thought I'd give you guys a little update on how everything's looking. Excluding this, this is all rubbish. Like how crazy is it? How much rubbish comes with packaging? So let's just ignore that situation. Um, but yeah, the place is looking pretty much like done. Obviously we're waiting on all of the furniture for that area, but I thought I'd just show you guys sort of what we've done so far. Um, so in this room, I also need to clean all of like the glass mirrors and like floors and everything again, but this room is looking really good. Um, we just have everything in all of the drawers and then uh, all of Jake's shoes are just there. I think I will do the floating shoe rack um, if we are allowed to, so I just need to ask about that. And then Jake and I actually decided um, that he is just having this whole wardrobe, so all of his stuff is in this wardrobe. Um, he has like all of his like jumpers and everything in there and then we just decided that i'd have the main walk-in wardrobe because it just makes more sense for us to have all of our stuff in like the one spot rather than me have half my stuff in the walk-in wardrobe and then half of it in the like the office area and then same with him so at least if he's getting ready like all of his stuff's in the one spot and then same with me um but the kitchen is looking so good i obviously have to like redo the pantry and stuff once I do a proper grocery shop but yeah I have like all of the baking sort of stuff down here I have like all of our supplements and shakers I have all of our breakfast stuff here I have all of our like savory stuff and then I have our sort of like sweet sort of stuff here um, and then savory stuff there um, and then up there we have like our little medical tub and then just some like alcohol and just like spare bits and pieces and then we've gone through and organized all of the pantries and like all of this is organized um then we also have all of our like plates and bowls and stuff um we also just have the dishwasher on so some of them are missing um and then up here i have like all of our mugs and stuff. I'll do like a proper tour as well once like the whole house is complete, but I thought I'd just give you guys a little update. Um, and then glasses and stuff up there. Um, and then in terms of this area here, first of all, this area is just looking so sad. So our couch for this area is coming in September. And then I need to like order a new rug and stuff. So I'll just kind of wait and see what's happening here. This is a bunch of stuff that I'm going to unbox tomorrow. I'm going to film a little home decor unboxing haul that's not sponsored because I bought everything myself. Um, and then this area here needs some progress. I'm going to get a new rug because as you guys can see it's stained there from Milo which is a bit gross. Um, this is actually for outside so I'll move that there soon. That, um, throw probably won't stay there either but yeah this is actually going up on like these drawers need to be inserted properly but Jake accidentally grabbed the wrong stuff the other day so we just need to wait until um, we can go back to Ikea and then buy the correct parts for it and then the same with the TV we have the stands for it but um, we don't have like the screws for it so we need to wait and see when we can get some screws and then put the stands in there. I might again ask um, the Body Corp if we can, not the Body Corp, sorry, the, our real estate, if we can put the TV up on the wall because I do think it looks so much better. And then I just have my little cute mushroom lamp over there as well. Um, and then that's like how it's looking from this way. And then obviously you guys have already seen outside it's honestly so pretty so we set up the ikea um chairs and the table the other day and it's honestly just so nice just sitting out there 
eating dinner, breakfast, lunch, <laughs> all of the above. Um, but yeah, it's honestly just so beautiful. I didn't actually realize until Dylan was helping us the other day that these, like I wish I'd known when I was filming the empty apartment tour, but these open like the whole way, which is just so nice. Um, and then in here is our little bedroom set up for the moment. So just have the mattress on the floor. Our bed should be coming in like five to six weeks maybe. And then I've just put the TV there for now. Um, but like the PowerPoint's up here, so I'm assuming we can put a bracket on the wall, but again, I'm gonna ask and wait and see. Um, and then my wardrobe, I'm so obsessed with this wardrobe situation. Like I feel like it was just so smart, us separating the two. Um, so in here, I'm gonna get a little like ceramic tray to put um, all my jewelry on and I'll get rid of this. I might keep this just because it's handy to put like hair ties and stuff in. I'll see. Um, these are all the sunnies I wear all the time. They're also like really dirty, I need to clean those. And then I just have this with like all my bangles on it. And then these shoes don't actually go here. I just chuck them there really quickly, but I have my bags here. Um, shoes that I wear all the time, sorry, like heels, and then up the very top is like even more heels, um, and then here I've just got like jumpers and stuff, down here I've got blazers and tops, and then here I've just got like dresses and rompers and stuff like that, um, and then in here I just have all of my dark activewear, look, I should probably fold that properly, but it's just a bit difficult, and then this is like all of my summery activewear, so all of like my Muscle Republic collection. Um, I don't think they're... Oh yeah, and here's like all my swimwear. <laughs> Lots of Cali swim in there. And then down here is just like tops sort of all shoved in there, if I'm being honest. Um, and then on this side here, these don't really fit. I need to like sort this out. But again, I've got more heels, my sneakers, um, like slides and shoes that I wear all the time and then I just have like my underwear and pajamas and stuff and then I have my shorts down there I've just got some new shoes um and my Dyson that just came um and then I have outfits that I need to shoot and then like denim and pants and stuff and then at the top there I just have like spare bags and then in here and then in the bathroom I just have all of our um like regular skincare my favorite moisturizers, hair masks, deodorant, um, and then up here we have like our mushrooms and vitamins and stuff, and then up the top is just like, um, like spare perfume and everything. For dinner, I think I'm just gonna have um, this vegan Singapore noodles, chef good meal. Um, I'm so excited for us to pick up Milo, hopefully a day this week, we'll have to wait and see. It smells so good. I just moved the uh, little side table and I feel like that looks way better like that. Oh. I think it needs a little bit longer. Yeah. This smells really, really good. Hey guys, I ended up using the Dyson air up on my hair and I kind of like it. Um, Jake said I look like I'm from the 80s and he's not wrong. <laughs> No, it's I kind agree. Of fallen it's out fallen now. a little bit. It was like pretty hectic before, but I feel like it's kind of a vibe, and I feel like it'll chill out over the next few days as well. So that's good. Um, we have just been busy getting some content for me because I literally haven't shot, shot, shot any new content in literally like three or four weeks. I know, wild. Freaking sandwich. I'm having a sandwich <laughs> from the Chef Good thing. What's in it? Um, it's egg and chive, which I feel like would be delicious, to be honest. Um, but I'm about to film, sit down and film. Do you guys cut your sandwiches this way or this way? I go this way. I feel like it's just easier to like get the, like the ends out of the way if you do it this way. Don't you reckon, Jake? Hey. Mm. Yeah. No. I was never bothered to cut it. You eat the crust. Okay. <laughs> you eat the crusty bit first and then the egg last. Okay, not gonna lie, this is lacking. Like, look, there's like half of it's missing. Ew. That's a bit disappointing. It's a bit lame. Mm. 
I'm using my fake fan. I used Loving Tam last night for the first time. It's very dark. Ooh, delivery. Okay, perfect. I'll be down soon. What did you get? I don't know. Honestly, life's just so fun at the moment. Yeah. Just deliveries every day. Don't know what I ordered. <laughs> I feel like egg sandwiches are so underrated and they are actually the goat pretty much of sandwiches. Almost. More shoes. Yep. What? <laughs> nah, oh. these are the ones I spoke about that I wanted. Nice. The black ones. Hopefully they fit. I got some... What are they called? <laughs> you were waiting for me to fuck that up, hey? Um, monkey Dunk Highs. Cute. So I got them in the black and white. Um, because I feel like I'll probably wear that the most. It's the jeans or whatever. So that's cute. And then I also got some stuff from Beginning Boutique. I just got some... Dresses, green, ultimate dress, blue, and then this blue and green dress. We just finished filming the decor unboxing haul. So now we get to deal with more rubbish. Love that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go put all this rubbish away and then I'm gonna find homes full of our new bits and pieces. If you guys wanna know where everything is or was from um then uh, i will have linked everything in that video so make sure you guys go and check it out um but yeah i was showing them this because i'd already unboxed it which is why she's just chilling there right now but yeah i'm gonna set up like this diffuser and stuff and yeah have like all these ceramic um like decor pieces and some new glasses and stuff oh my god and this is like my favorite part some new little bowls so cute jake and i are just finishing off the evening with a sauna sesh we just took all the rubbish out yes there was literally so so much like, so much rubbish it's just crazy how much rubbish humans create it's disgusting <laughs> it's really bad eh but um, yeah we had to take it all like, out of the apartment finally. luckily like everything's super well thought out and accessible like there's two huge bins oh, for yeah. all the cardboard two yeah P.S. guys, I haven't even shown you the oh, sauna sorry. yet. Guys, this is the sauna. Oh yeah. Um, there's rocks. Nice, thank you. There's um, timber stuff. Yeah, nice. Come look at this. No, do I actually have to? Yeah, this is a timer. Ready? Very nice. Flip it. it. 15 minute timer. Okay, perfect. It's currently at... We're gonna just turn it on. Okay, like thank degrees. you so much. Um, I'm gonna start reading Atomic Habits. I've been meaning to read this for ages. I bought it like literally probably like two months ago and I just haven't had a chance. So Jake and I are gonna come use the sauna for 15 minutes every night before bed. Um, and I'm gonna read 15 minutes of this each time. So I feel like that'll be really nice. Really nice way to end every day. This is my sauna get up. Um, there's also a female steam room. And sauna. How good. So if I ever don't want to hang out with Jay, I can just come in here. Oh. So that's fun. But yeah, I'm like so sweaty. I was struggling in there. It was literally so hot. You can't really see, but that's like all wet. I'm gonna sign off this vlog and have a few days off of filming tomorrow we are going back to our house just because we need to clear out the rest of the stuff that we sold on facebook marketplace um from the garage so the new tenants can move in we literally found a new tenant straight away which is amazing um so yeah that's all pretty much ready to go and then we're also going to pick up milos i can't believe he hasn't seen his new home yet i'm so excited to pick him up and he's just gonna love it here being so close to the beach so tomorrow is a very exciting day um and yeah so it's gonna chill and well not really chill but we're gonna be doing boring stuff so i'm gonna sign off this vlog here and i'll see you guys in my next one Jakey's just chilling. Bye. Bye.